Welcome to Church of the Chair, where you don't drink coffee, coffee drinks you. I'm your host, E, and today, Mr. Jingles is a whole mood. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work. There's no way around it. If you have not read everything he's ever published, I suggest you leave now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about The Green Mile by Stephen King. So how does The Green Mile tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's get into that. This is likely going to be the shortest video in this entire Redux series. It was even a short video in the original series, and that's because I only have one major tie-in and one thing that could be considered reaching, and that's the fact that I believe that John Coffey, like Ted Brodigan in Hearts in Atlantis, he's not in every story in there, but I always think of Ted Brodigan being in Hearts of in Atlantis, even though it's low men in yellow coats because of the Anthony Hopkins adaptation. Anyways, Ted Brodigan had the touch and he was a breaker. I feel that John Coffey too was a breaker, but he was never taken away because he ended up in jail. I go into far more detail about this in my original video so you can go to the playlist at the end of this video and check out that video you can check out all the rest of them as well they are currently live on the channel but other than that the only thing I have is regulation 19 someone brings up regulation 19 and of course 19 is important in the Stephen King universe while we're on the topic of themes throughout the Stephen King universe. I will mention that this isn't Stephen King's only innocent man in prison story, so that too can be considered a tie-in. I believe you could put it up there with Shawshank Redemption simply because he follows the same theme, but at this point, you guys know I'm reaching. And that's all the time I have for you today. There weren't even any viewer comments to, with their own theories on the original video. It was once again everybody talking about whether or not they liked the book, were indifferent about the book, or they hated the book. So if I missed anything in this video, or if you have any corrections of anything I said in this video, or if you have theories of your own, I would love to see them down there in the comments section. But until next time, I got nothing. I'll hail the chair.